Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 7th July 2018. I am Sagan Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, a company based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company Superior Profit, or more importantly, how it may help in your trading, you can go to the website superiorprofit.co and click on the about menu. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, we look at oil and gold using technical charts they tend to impact related stocks. When we trade in the market, we like to trade in the direction of the overall market. We can assess that using NASDAQ and NYSE market breadth analysis and also technical charts of the four broad market ETFs. Along with aligning our trades, with the broad market, we also like to align the trades with industry strength or weakness. We can study that using QA industry scorecard and heat map. Using market breadth, market ETF technical analysis and QA industry sector and heat map, we can do a complete top down analysis. These tools along with Q charts can also be used for bottom up analysis. We will carry out the top down analysis today. Along the way, we may look at some of the recent trade ideas shared in Q Traders Forum and certainly look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis with oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart. Together we call this at a glance template because it helps us to decide if there is a low risk swing trade opportunity at the right edge of the chart in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, US oil went up strongly for two successive weeks. This week it ended with a very indecisive shape candle with both lower tail and upper tail and a very narrow body. The candle color has remained cyan that is bullish. In the daily chart, US oil continue to remain above the upper boundary lines. The last long entry opportunity in oil was either on this gap up day or on the subsequent day when it crossed above the high of the gap up candle. Both of those were low risk buy opportunities in US oil. Last week closed above upper boundary and this week it is remaining above upper boundary. This does not give us a low risk entry opportunity in oil. We may wait for oil to pull back little bit and then go up giving us a cyan color candle that would give us a low risk trend following long opportunity. We are now studying the gold ETF GLD using same Q at a glance template. 
in the weekly chart gold dropped for many weeks last week in the market roundup we discussed that it came close to the memory trend line support but didn't touch that yet neither did it touch the watermark support level this week price came precisely to the memory trend line support and went up from there in the daily chart we can see the same memory support line at this price level on this magenta candle price closed at the memory support level and next day it had a gap up open on that gap open day there was a profitable day trade opportunity using the q gap long trade setup that trade had exited with profit the gap up candle also displayed a bullish headwind signal the possible reversal signal however the candle had long upper tail so there was not enough bullish sign in the daily chart to try to take a swing long trade the weekly magenta color also did not allow us to take a bullish headwind reversal long trade if gold now drops a little bit again it's the memory support line and goes up from there then we may have another low risk long entry opportunity either a day trade opportunity or a swing long trade opportunity at that time right now there is no swing trade opportunity in gold from commodities study we now move to market rate study Every week we study market breadth using Nasdaq Composite Index and NYSE Composite Index both using weekly charts. Because this study is using weekly interval and also broad indices, we may use it only for longer term investment decisions, not so much for swing trading and certainly not for day trading. The market breadth shows that the market is pretty bullish. Nasdaq is remaining stronger than NYSE. Nasdaq made a pullback and this week had a strong reversal bullish shape candle. The candle traffic light color changed from red that is bearish to yellow that is neutral. The Nasdaq internals all closed above zero and they went up as well. So the internals as well as the index is bullish for Nasdaq. NYSE was moving sideways in the weekly chart. That remains same this week. It is inside a triangle pattern bound by resistance memory at the top and support memory at the bottom unless it breaks out of this triangle pattern we are not sure of NYSE's trend in this weekly chart this specific week's candle is bullish both in shape and in color in the last market roundup I had mentioned that NYSE closed down that week however it was going up from the memory support line we could see that from the lower tail in last week's candle that turned out to be true this week NYSE went up from the memory support line the NYSE internals also all went up and all closed above zero in summary we can conclude that in the longer term weekly charts both nasdaq and nyse are in uptrend the memory trend lines are providing robust support the uptrends will continue unless these supports are broken the internals are bullish this week they all went up and all closed above zero
let's see if we reach the same bullish conclusion from the broad market ETFs. This is S&P 500 ETF SPY using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart. Last week, SPY came very close to the weekly memory support and went up from there. This week, it came to the same memory support line again, opening lower, but strongly went up. In the daily chart, on Monday, this yellow candle, it had a gap down open. However, it closed strongly higher on that day. That move on the intraday chart had given a very profitable low risk gap long trade opportunity. Since then, price continued to go up throughout the week. On Thursday, we had a cyan color candle. Price was having higher high and higher low. Therefore, Thursday's cyan color candle gave us a low risk trend following swing trade opportunity. The stop would be just below recent low below the memory support lines and we could try to book profit at this memory resistance trend line. Right now price has gone up somewhat on Friday so we will not try to take any long trade at the close of Friday. Close of Thursday was the signal day and that was the right time to take the swing long entry in SPY. QQQ using weekly and daily charts. Like SPY last week, QQQ closed with a long lower tail. However, it was not near any memory trend line support. This week it strongly went up. In the daily chart, price had pulled down somewhat after displaying the bearish headwind signal when price was above upper boundary lines. Then price came to the yellow direction line. This week, QQQ had a gap down open but that day closed strongly higher. Subsequently, it continued to go up. On Thursday, QQQ gave a trend following long opportunity on the daily chart. However, we can see that the weekly candle color is still yellow. Therefore, it was not meeting all the conditions for go with flow long trade setup. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, DIA using at a glance template. Last week, DIA also closed with a long lower tail and it was near multiple support lines in the weekly chart. This week, daily again had a gap down open and closed higher. However, that was not as strong bullish a day as we saw in case of SPY and QQQ. The relative performance line is showing both in daily and weekly charts that DIA continues to be the underperformer among the three ETFs. Russell 2000 ETF IWM this was the strongest of the four market ETFs. This week, IWM has a long hollow body. That is, the shape is bullish. However, the color is still yellow. It didn't turn cyan. This week, on Monday, had a gap down open. Price went up from there. 
probably that gave another gap long day trade opportunity on Monday. Since then, price went up. On Thursday, we had a sand color candle. However, weekly is still yellow. Therefore, it didn't give us a go through long trade setup in IWM this week. We see that we had several gap long trade opportunities in these four broad market ETFs and a swing long trade opportunity in SPY. The weekly candle shapes of all the four ETFs are bullish, strongly bullish. This is in sync with the bullish picture that we saw from market breadth. In this bullish market, it will probably be wiser to take only long trades. Though sometimes we may take short trades if a stock's industry is weak or weakening. In general, looking at the market's bullishness, I think it will be safer to stick to long trades at this time. Let us try to identify some possible trade opportunities from sector industry analysis. Four week sector performance. Every market roundup, we analyze 11 sectors across three review periods. Red bar represents performance of this week. Green bar, performance of one week prior to the red bar and yellow bar performance of two weeks prior to the green bar. Together, they give us four weeks or about one month of performance. Any bar coming to the right of the zero point shows the sector went up and any bar going to the left of the zero point shows the sector went down. You can see this week, all the sectors closed in the positive and some of them like healthcare, information technology, telecom, closed higher by more than 3%. These are very significant gains. The market is clearly bullish from the sector point of view as well. These three sectors, healthcare, telecom, and information technology, they all went up by more than 3%. And all of these sectors reverse from previous week's decline. Telecom was down one week ago. Information technology was down almost close to 4% last week. And healthcare was down by more than 4% last week. These three sectors reversed from large declines to large advances. That might have given Q traders some very profitable and low risk reversal long trade opportunities. These are 10 of the best performing industries this week. We are looking at the industries using their strength score over 5 days and 10 days. We can see several of the industries, water utilities, home entertainment software, household appliances, alternative carriers, etc. Last week's score and this week's scores are both high, showing that these industries were generally strong in the last week and continuing their strength in this week as well. Therefore, using last week's industry strength analysis, one could start to look for long opportunities in these industries and probably already exited some of those with profit. Water utilities is one of the best performing industries. CWT gave a trend following long opportunity this week. Another stock AWK. It is the best performer over one month and Q headwind reversal signal was able to capture the very low of AWK. Another stock in the same water utilities industry, SPS, is very nicely valued. 
it is at a relatively lower price level. You may keep an eye on SPS to see if give us you may keep an eye on SBS to see if it gives a low risk entry opportunity in the coming days. Let's look at QH. Look at the best performing industries, drill down to other utilities and then analyze these three stocks CWT, AWK and SBS. This is QH. Every time we open QH, it analyzes 11 sectors in the sector panel and hundreds of industries in the industry panel. QH analyzes the sectors and industries across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over recent periods of 10 days, 5 days, 2 days and 1 day. QH assigns a high score to the best performing sector or industry score of one to the worst performing sector or industry and applies a heat map as well sign to the strongest one magenta to the weakest one other than calculating the scores it also calculates acceleration and deceleration of the industries or sectors displace them in the base columns any item having strong acceleration shows up with cyan color score and any item with deceleration shows up with magenta color score usually we make our trading decisions based on the five days period sometimes to pinpoint reversals accurately, we may open up the analytics over two days and one day periods as well. Water utilities was weak earlier. It was in magenta color and in recent periods over one month, 10 days and five days. It has turned stronger. The color has turned cyan that is bullish. These are the optimal points for taking not only swing long trade opportunities but also trades that you may try to hold for longer direction. Let's drill down into water utilities stocks. These are the stocks in the water utilities industry from our stock scorecard. We can sort them by valuation by double clicking on the valuation primary column. The stocks with good valuation are colored in cyan. Medium valuation stocks are shown in yellow and if there was any poor valuation stock that would show up in magenta. From the five days percentage change column, we can see that both SBS and CWT went up strongly this week by more than 7 percentages. SBS is a stock that is optimally valued. It has strong earning quality that is showing as sign color score in the earnings quality column. It also has a short squeeze potential. In fact, SBS is the only stock that has strong earning quality as well as short squeeze potential. From the 52 week low column, we can see that it is closest to 52 week low. Therefore, if SPS goes up, it may give us a low risk swing long entry opportunity as well as a possible long term investment opportunity. SPS also pays a nice dividend of 5%. Let's look at SPS using Q at a glance template. SBS water utilities stock using at a glance template. Earlier the stock dropped a lot. That was the last earnings time. Last week ended with a candle with long lower tail. 
and this week has a bullish shape candle. There were several heavy activity candles in the weekly chart. Those might point to possible exertion of pairs. In the daily chart, price drop. This was the earnings period. Gradually, it is creating a saucer like pattern and on Friday it gave us a cyan color candle price closed just below the memory resistance line. If price goes up from here it may give us a low risk long entry opportunity. This has good valuation, nice earnings quality short squeeze potential pays a nice dividend as well so fundamentally there are enough reasons to start looking for long trade opportunity in this stock cwt another water utility stock you can see in the weekly chart once again the bullish headwind in march could catch almost the very low of the price move. Last week, CWT had a bearish shape and bearish color candle. However, it closed very near the memory trend line support. These memory lines provide robust support. This week, it opened below the trend line support, but very soon went above that. If you were keeping an eye on CWT and you took a note of the memory support level, you could probably take a long trade right at the point price went above the memory support. That is around 39.5. In the daily chart, price tried to go up, came down and on Monday strongly went up. That was the exact same day that price went above the trend line support that was in weekly chart. It also went above four of the direction lines white, yellow, magenta, cyan, all of them. Looking at those bullish signals, you could take a long trade right at the close of Monday, put stop below recent low, in this case also below the memory support lines, and book profit on partial position on Thursday. By Thursday, you would know that the industry was very strong. The weekly and daily chart patterns were also very strong. And the stock had fundamental strength as well. Therefore, you would not have any reason to book full profit. You would probably book partial profit, apply trailing stop on the remaining position and try to let profit run on the remaining position. AWK, the third water utility stock that I mentioned, once again you can see in the daily chart, price came to the lower boundary level, displayed a bullish headwind signal and from there it went up almost in a straight line. One could try to take a long trade using the bullish headwind signal. That was the time that price came to this memory trend line support in the weekly chart. If one didn't take a long on this bullish headwind candle, the next opportunity probably came on this cyan color candle. There was no significant dip in price. Instead, price went above the four direction lines at this point. 
price close above white yellow magenta as well as cyan direction lines moved sideways for a few days and then gave us a cyan color candle one could take a long at this cyan color candle closing price put stop just below the direction lines and book partial profit at the upper boundary lines since the industry was strong again there would not be any reason to exit full position partial position could be held silver is the best performing industry this week silver was one of the worst performers in recent periods however it turned into strength this week and this silver stock cde went up after false downside breakout at watermark support once again bullish headwind could catch the exact low of the stock let's study silver from qh drill down to the stocks fundamental cde stocks fundamental and then look up the stocks charts from qh we can see that silver was weak earlier magenta color this week it ended up with the biggest score so it is the strongest industry and the pace column shows that it accelerated as well drilling down into the stocks we can find two stocks cde and hl hl is poorly valued its primary valuation score is coming in magenta color whereas cde has medium valuation cde also has strong earnings quality and a short squeeze potential overall cde is fundamentally stronger than hl therefore if we were going to look for a long entry opportunity we would look for that in cde that will combine the industry strength with fundamental strength let's see if that technical charts gave us a low risk entry opportunity at the same time CDE using at a glance template in the weekly chart last week we had a candle with long lower tail that would lead us to start looking for a long entry opportunity last friday in the daily chart we had a bullish headwind signal therefore using the long lower tail and the bullish headwind signal one could start looking for a long entry opportunity at the close of this yellow candle at that time we had a long lower tail candle in the daily chart as well just prior to the bullish headwind candle if one took a long trade at that point stop would be just below the recent low and one could try to book a share profit when the risk distance was covered that was covered by this friday the candle is very bullish in the weekly chart at present both in terms of color cyan is bullish and the shape long hollow candle this stock is the better fundamental stock among the silver stocks in our scorecard has good earnings quality short squeeze potential and the industry is the best performing industry this week therefore if somebody took a long trade using the headwind reversal signal there would not be any reason to exit full position partial position may be held if somebody didn't take a long trade on this yellow candle then it is too late to take a low risk entry right now one may wait for a pullback and then price to go up again before trying the next swing long trade 
from best performing industries we move to worst performing industries we are looking at the 10 worst performing industries of this week looking at their 5 days and 10 days scores some of the industries were weak from one week ago itself like commercial printing automobile manufacturers apparel retail Automobile manufacturers is of interest this week. It is very weak. However, when we drill down into the industry, we find two stocks, WGO and THO. They are in automobile manufacturing industry, but they are in a niche market. They create recreational vehicles. And that subcategory seems to be doing well. We had discussed these stocks earlier as well. Both of these stocks have given Q trend following long trade opportunity on this Friday. You could take it right before Friday's market close or you may try to take them next week using real time Q charts. Let's look at the worst performing industries, identify automobile manufacturers, drill down to its stocks, look at WGO and THOs fundamentals and then look at their technical charts to see how once again we could combine the subcategory strength, recreational vehicle strength with the fundamental strength of the stocks and the technical low risk buy points on Q charts to have very high probability trade opportunities on this Friday. These are the worst performing industries of this week. Their 5 days scores are coming in dark magenta color. Automobile manufacturers is an industry that is weak now and it had been weak for many review periods. When an industry is very weak for long time, that is the time I start looking for long entry opportunities. That is what led me to drill down into the stocks of this industry. These are the Q scorecard stocks of automobile manufacturers industry. Let's sort them by 5 days percentage chain. I notice that though the industry is very weak, several stocks in fact went up. And I investigated further, saw that WGO and THO both are in recreational vehicle subcategory, RVs. Both of them are having very steady earnings growth for the last three years as well as for the last three quarters. All the readings are in green color for both WGO and THO. Both of them also have short squeeze potential. In my routine, I started to look for long opportunities in automobile manufacturing industry while the industry was very weak. Identified a subcategory of recreational vehicles, found two stocks that has very nice earnings growth and that is also resulting in not so nice valuation. That is fine. We don't expect high growth and optimum valuation at the same time. We could Identify two high growth stocks and both of them having short squeeze potential. So if now we had a low risk buy opportunity on the Q charts, we would be able to combine the industry strength, subcategory strength, recreational vehicles, these two stocks, fundamental strength with the technical strength. Let's look at the Q charts. 
THO using Q at a glance template. Again, it displayed bullish headwind signal in the weekly chart. After that, it created a base. Weekly candle color turned cyan from the earnings week and then it is remaining cyan. This week ended with cyan color, bullish color as well as bullish shape candle. In the daily chart, it went up, created higher high, higher low. Last few days, it pulled back little bit and on Friday gave us a cyan color candle. That made all the checklist conditions for a trend following go with flow long trade setup. One could take a long trade at the close of Friday's candle put stop just below recent low that would be also just below the memory support line. Therefore the risk was very small. One could try to book partial profit at the memory resistance line in the daily chart. Third this is THO Thor Industries gave us a low risk buy opportunity where we could combine industry strength, subcategory strength, recreational vehicles, fundamental strength with technical strength. Let's see if WGO gave us a similar opportunity. WGO, WGO the weekly candle color and shape both are bullish. Cyan color is bullish and hollow shape is bullish. In the daily chart earlier, it had gone strongly up above the upper boundary lines. I tracked it at that time and I had suggested that though it went up strongly, broke above this high, I think there was a watermark resistance at this point. It was a breakout up move. However, Q traders tend to avoid such breakout moves. The stop would be very far. Instead, we patiently wait for a pullback. And beautifully, the pullback happened. Price came to the four direction lines. And then on this Friday, we had a cyan color candle, bullish shape candle, and also Friday's candle closed above all the four direction lines at the same time. That gave us a very low risk, long entry opportunity, meeting all the conditions of Goipro trend following long trade setup. One could take a long at the close of the candle, putting stop just below recent low. There is no memory resistance line here, like we saw in THO. Therefore, one could try to book partial profit at the upper boundary lines. Very nice trade setups in WGO and THO combining the strengths of recreational vehicle category, fundamental strength as well as technical strength. Every week we also study accelerating industries. These tend to be the best performing industries in subsequent weeks. Drug retail is the most accelerating industry this week. We can see over 10 days the score was very small and over 5 days the score is very large. Therefore the industry went up and went up sharply and suddenly. That showed up as acceleration in QH. WBA Walgreens Boots Alliance completed a false downside breakout it has the right valuation. It's an optimally valued stock. It also has earnings growth. You may look for a trend following buy opportunity in WBA in, WBA in the coming week. Let's look at the accelerating industries in QH. Drill down to drug retail and look at WBA's fundamentals. And finally look at its technical charts. These are the most accelerating industries of this week. They are pace column score are in cyan color. 
drug retail is the most accelerating industry. It was very weak, magenta color over many review periods. This week it turned cyan bullish and it turned cyan with acceleration, the best accelerating industry of this week. WBA is a stock in this industry. Let's drill down. This is WBA. Fantastic valuation. Valuation is in cyan color, optimal valuation. And for all the three yearly review periods, as well as the three last quarterly periods, earnings is showing steady growth. Therefore, this is a stock which has optimal valuation as well as steady earnings growth. Earnings quality is strong as well. Pays a dividend of 2.8 percentage. It has medium short squeeze potential. WBA is very close to 52 week low. Therefore, this stock has many fundamental factors that allow us to start looking for a long opportunity. Good valuation, steady growth, good earnings quality, and it is at a very low price point near 52 week low. If we can get a low risk entry opportunity in the technical charts, then that may end up being a very high probability swing long opportunity as well as a possible long term investment opportunity. Let's look at WBS technical charts. WBA using at a glance template. One week ago, WBA had a sharp drop. The drop was related to earnings. It fell with extreme high activity. Pierced below the watermark support level and closed with a very bearish shape as well as bearish color candle. This week, price went back up, came back above the watermark support level. This week ended with a bullish shape as well as bullish color candle. In the daily chart, it had a very sharp drop related to earnings and then gradually recovered to value area. Weekly candle color has turned cyan. If, WA, if WBA comes down little bit next week and then goes up again, it may give us a very low risk swing long entry opportunity. If the industry continues to be strong at that time, we will have a trade where industry strength, fundamental strength and technical strength all will be aligned. You may keep an eye on WBA for such a low risk high probability trade setup. Decelerating industries, these tend to be worst performing industries in subsequent weeks. We are looking at the 5 days and 10 days scores of the industries. You can see for all these industries, 10 day scores were significantly higher and the 5 days, that is this week's scores, declined substantially. Oil and gas drilling is one such industry. It is the most decelerating industry of this week. However, we always need to drill down to investigate further. We don't just look at the decelerating industries and start, and start to short stocks in them. When I drilled into oil and gas drilling using QA, I saw that over five days it is the most decelerating industry. However, on Friday it is the most accelerating industry or one of the most accelerating industries. Therefore, instead of looking for short opportunity, one might start to look for long opportunities in this industry from Friday. UNT 
unit cop is a stock in this industry we had identified a trend following go with flow trade setup long trade setup in UNT on 18th June since then the stock has given significant profit partial profit would be booked at predetermined initial profit target level the industry was strong unit cop was optimally valued it is still optimally valued technical charts were strong therefore we would not book full profit partial position could be held and one may continue to hold that partial position interestingly UNT is a stock that is now at pendulum high very high price level and still it has excellent valuation this I have mentioned earlier also high price doesn't mean poor valuation it is not often but sometimes we can find a stock that is at a very high price level relative to its historical price ranges and still represents good value UNT is one of them and we saw earlier in market roundups that Facebook Adobe etc were also stocks in that category at high price level but still having excellent valuation UNT is a stock that we would continue to hold probably there was no low risk entry opportunity in UNT in last week I also found two other stocks HP and PTEN P10, in the same oil and gas drilling industry these are two of the highest EPS growth stocks in the industry and now both have bullish signs on Q charts you may look for low risk buy point in these stocks oil and gas drilling is an industry that was quite strong earlier in earlier market roundups we had identified UNT as a possible long it was a trend following long opportunity industry was strong the stock was optimally valued we had a go through long trade setup so all the forces were aligned at that time this week it is the most decelerating industry this week the score is very weak five days score color is dark magenta however when you open up the recent periods you can see by opening up the recent periods that over one day period that is on Friday the score has turned bullish again and the base columns two days and one day periods are showing that it is accelerating since Thursday so this may be a case where the industry was very strong dipped suddenly for a while and now became strong again that may give us a buy the dip opportunity let us drill down these are the stocks in oil and gas drilling from q stock scorecard unt is a stock that is continuing to have optimal valuation primary valuation is in sand color if you look at the 52 week high column you can see it is right at 52 week high still it is having optimal valuation therefore we have no reason to exit any long position that we are holding in this stock let us sort these stocks by last quarter's earnings growth HP and P10 are the two stocks with best last quarter earning growth and they are having steady earnings growth over last three quarters all of the three quarterly earnings are showing very high earnings growth coming in bright green color HP pays a dividend yield of 4.4 percentage and P10 pays a dividend yield of slightly less than 1 percent therefore in terms of dividend HP is a better stock in terms of earnings growth both of them are equivalent P10 is stronger actually by the way I see that 
both the stocks have steady and high revenue growth as well in the last three quarterly periods. In terms of earnings quality, HP is stronger, it is yellow, whereas P10 is red. P10 has better short squeeze potential. The short squeeze score in sand color, HP short squeeze score in yellow. Both the stocks have very high earnings growth as well as revenue growth. So there are enough fundamental reasons to start to look for long opportunities. One pays a slightly bigger dividend and has better earnings quality than the other, that is HP. HP has better dividend and earnings quality. For swing trading, you may not need to look at the earnings quality so much. If you are trying to buy a stock at a very low price, for example at Q pendulum low, and you plan to hold it for long term, then you may look into the earnings quality, look for stocks that are having cyan color in earnings quality or at least yellow color. For swing trading, it doesn't matter so much because we are going to book profit probably within three or four or five days. Let's see from the technical charts if either HP or P10 has any low risk long trade setup. HP using at a glance template. Last couple of weeks, it came down. The weekly candle colors were magenta. One week ago, HP had a very indecisive shape candle in the weekly chart. A doji like candle with long upper as well as lower tails. This week, the candle color and shape both turned bullish. In the daily chart, price came to the lower boundary level, to the white direction line level and since then somewhat meandering around, wrapping around the white direction line. Few days ago, it displayed a bullish headwind signal in the daily chart. On Friday, it broke above the trend line resistance. It was inside a triangle pattern created by trend line resistance and trend line support. Now it broke above the trend line resistance with a bullish shape candle. Weekly is also bullish. Weekly doesn't have any nearby trend line resistance. Our daily has a nearby memory resistance line. That is probably the reason one might not take a long trade on Friday's close. Q traders are always watchful about nearby trend line support and resistances. This is a possible long opportunity. So one would be cautious if there is a memory resistance nearby and would not take a long trade at close of Friday. If next week price goes above the trend line resistance in the daily chart, one might use intraday charts to look for low risk entry opportunity. Alternatively, one may wait for price to break above the trend line resistance, pull back and then go up again, thereby waiting for a proper go with flow trend following long trade setup. What about P10? Very nice chart. Isn't it? P10 displayed a bullish headwind signal in the weekly chart. From there, price had strongly gone up. Then price fell back sharply, came to the memory support level, precisely bounced up from there. This week ended with a bullish shape candle. In fact, if somebody was keeping an eye on this stock, it is fundamentally strong, one could try to take a long trade right at the trend line support level, putting stop just below the 
tail slow that would give a very low risk entry opportunity in a fundamentally strong stock. In the daily chart, it displayed a bullish headwind few days ago. That candle shape was bearish, so we would not try to take any long trade on that day. Since then, price is moving up, down, up, down. On Friday, it gave us a bullish shape and bullish color candle. Let's change the template to the template we use for identifying bounds or box trade setups. P10 with a new template. We saw the bullish headwind earlier in the daily chart and now we can see there were bearish headwinds earlier in the daily chart that could catch the top very well as well. Especially the second bearish headwind signal. At the right end price displayed a bullish headwind. It had created several watermark levels. Price tried to go below that and this Friday closed strongly higher. At the same time the weekly candle bounced up precisely from the trend line support. There were heavy activity candles earlier when the price was dropping that could point to possible exertion of pairs. Combining the bounce up in the weekly chart from trend line support and the bullish headwind in the daily chart few days ago the watermark supports from where price went up on Friday one might take a long trade right at close of Friday candle putting stop just below recent low in this case one might put the stop below the trend line support there is a trend line resistance in daily chart therefore one might either book partial profit at that point or watch carefully if price is able to break decisively above that or reversing from that level using intraday chart if price continues to go up, one may book partial profit when the risk distance is covered and then try to let profit run on the remaining position. Those were our regular weekly market roundup topics. Let me summarize. From the market bread and from the broad market ETFs, we see only bullish signal. There is no bearish signal anywhere. The sector level is very strong as well. All the sectors went up. Therefore, in this market, one may try to look for only long opportunities. We could find several long opportunities that one could take recently, all ended with profit and we identified several other stocks where one may look for long opportunities in the coming days. Interestingly, we could start to look for long opportunities in some of the weak industries as well. How did we do that? We saw that automobile manufacturers was weak for a long time. So I had drilled down to start to look for possible buy opportunities and identified the recreational vehicles category that is actually very strong. We found two stocks in that category where we had industry, technical as well as fundamental strengths aligned giving us long trade opportunities on Friday. We also saw oil and gas drilling industry which decelerated over one week period however accelerated on Friday and we could identify fundamentally strong stocks in this industry. Some of them 
are given low risk by opportunities as well. That is how using the top down analysis combining market strength weakness, sector industry strength weakness, fundamental strength weakness as well as technical strength and weakness we can look for highest probability and lowest risk trades in all market conditions. That is all that I wanted to share in today's session. Thanks a lot for joining. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great weekend and trade profitably.